Hi guys, welcome back to Anna Dialogue, the dialogue on analog music reproduction. A few episodes ago, actually the one where I was discussing about my Telefunken M15, here's a link, I took into consideration, I was just mentioning about the plexiglass, the acrylic cover of my reel to rear recorder. Here it is. Remember that? Now this is a gorgeous piece of plexiglass, of acrylic which has a special indent here, so it grabs on the machine and it doesn't fall. In order to have an idea, here's a drawing of what I'm talking about. Okay, so a lot of you actually asked me, how can we do this? Because I said it's actually simple to do and not that expensive. It does remain something expensive to do, unfortunately, unless you are in the business already. So apart from this, we have a lot of machines, a lot of equipment that requires a nice little cover. Obviously, our turntables. A lot of turntables, now I'm, I'm, this is a Technics which already has one integrated, but high-end turntables, almost as a paradox, do not have dust covers. So dust covers all of a sudden become priority. I mean, it's something that it, it's able to protect our machines, our gear from dust, obviously from the cat, from the little baby, and from the cleaning lady or whatever. Plus it also makes a nice display of our, of our gear. I mean, it makes it a little more elegant, a little more slick, I think. So uh, a lot of people are also doing covers for their reel-to-reel -reel recorders, players of different models. Actually, there's a lot of people also on eBay who are doing this and different online sites. What is the problem? The problem is that you have to do them custom usually, unless we're just you're just gonna get a huge big box, acrylic box, and just plow it on top of your turn turntable, your uh, tube amplifier, your reel-to-reel -reel recorders, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. No, you don't have to do that actually. Plus, what is the problem? Well, I was about to say that all these, if you do them custom, custom made, tailor made, they start to be rather expensive. So. What is the uh, solution here? You have two solutions. The first solution, which I actually did try, was to get different pieces of plexiglass, of acrylic, just simple, transparent, and try to combine them together using a special kind of chemical. Here is an image of that. But I, I don't go into that. I mean, you really know, you need to know what you're doing. The best solution is just to create a nice little drawing like the one I showed you before, possibly vector graphics, possibly by a, a program where it's nice and neat and the lines are uh, corresponding, are proportional one to another, that's the optimal solution. But if you're not that good drawing, you just have need to do a little draft, just a little sketch on a piece of paper, indicating the precise measurement possibly from maybe two angles, that would be good if it's something very complicated. In any case, you just have to put the different measures and what else? You just go to someone in your local uh, industry area where they make plexiglass. I mean, I'm, I'm sure for a lot of people this is gonna say, well, obvious, why is he doing a video on this? Well, a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people think you have to go, you have to go online, you have to pass through important shops, get fancy stuff, etc., etc. No, if you just have a drawing and knock on the door of, of someone, most probably they're gonna say, no problem, fellow, come in, show me what you need. And the price is gonna be very, very low. One thing that can keep keeps down the price, I'll show you, is this. Maybe, which I think is also cool, actually. See, this is round, it's not a glued piece. Not only I think it's more slick, it's more elegant, it's something unusual to see, but it costs much, much less. Plus, I think, no, I think, I mean, it's objective, it's much more sturdy, it's much more resistant to, to shock, to, to f f falls or whatever, the cat on top, my cat is always on top, my record's on, on top of this, in fact, it's very scratched. So a good solution is to tell them to make it curve. At that point, like for example, see here, see my techniques here? These have been joined chemically because to, in order to have a precise angle like that 
Unfortunately, you have to cut the piece and then glue it back with a chemical. Uh, instead, in that way, just with heat, they bend it. Although it's much more difficult to be precise with that type of technique. So you have to kind of decide what you want to do. If it's something simple like a dust cover for a turntable, go for the curved tile, I think. You just have to add like one or two centimeters, a pair of an inch or so on each side in order to be sure that the, the dust cover is not gonna, when it's curved, it's not gonna touch your turntable. So it's better to make it a little big. If you want something very precise, then you're gonna need something like this, which is chemically glued. As you can see, well, maybe you cannot see, but this is a little bit moving, just a little bit, but who cares? I mean, it, it's perfectly resting there. It has that little dent, so it grabs on my, my, um, my recorder and it's fantastic. I mean, you can also decide the color if you want. You can change colors, of course. It's not only transparent and it doesn't, maybe it'll affect the cost a little bit. But if you like, you could do it red, you could do it blue, yellow. So some cool um, features, some cool colors, which will make even a little more fancy your environment maybe. Who knows? That's also an option. Plus you can decide the thickness, which out and about in the different uh, internet stores or whatever, wherever you buy this stuff, it's usually very thin. Instead, you can decide to make it nice and thick if you want, to have it even more resistant. Like this one, this guy is, is rather thick if you can see. Not too much, but it's thicker than, than normal, we could say. Well, okay guys, this was just some very simple tips in order to have your gear protected. I hope it was useful. If you have other ideas or resources like this, please post them in the comments here below. Thank you guys for watching and remember, music is born analog. Well guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.